Behold, it's Natalia, and welcome to Going Ape. Time to talk about those amorous apes, that promiscuous horde, the key party of the primate world. Oh, the French. No. The bonobo, or pan paniscus. More like pan promiscuous. <coughs> May I hold the camera? He is a kinky past. But per usual, the affable Frenchman is not wrong. Bonobos are our closest genetic relatives, as are chimpanzees. We share a common ancestor with both these species roughly six million years ago. And chimpanzees and bonobos split roughly one and a half to two million years ago. The split was most likely caused by the formation of the Congo River system. And even though bonobos look so much like chimpanzees that they used to be called pygmy chimpanzees, their behavior is very different. You see, with chimpanzees, when there's tension, it can get violent. So how do bonobos deal with tension? Banging, shagging, stooping, the horizontal hula. He's totally getting laid. Get it? Never mind. Boinking. Doing squat thrusts in the cucumber patch. Flogging the feisty ferret. Noodling her nards. The beast with two backs. The primate that likes snacks. But wait, it's not just males and females that are diffusing tension by riding the old skin bus into Tuna Town. No, 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 no. In bonobos, anything goes. Females will do something called GG rubbing where they rub their lady bits together. Think primate scissoring. Males will have sword fights. Penis fencing is the actual scientific term. You're welcome. Drats foiled again. And bonobos are unique that they'll face each other while knocking boots. Mission impossible? More like missionary possible. Sometimes I really hate myself. Bonobos have a more gracile build than chimpanzees and darker faces. They also have a sweet hairdo parted in the middle reminiscent of a 90s boy band. Eat your heart out, Justin Timberlake. But what? Oh, sorry, Nick Carter. I guess I wasn't very in sync. Bonobos are excellent mothers and play huge roles in their child's lives. Researchers have recently discovered that female bonobos will adopt infants that are not related to them. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Either you really want a sandwich or you want to be more like a bonobo. I can't help you with a sandwich. But if you want to be more like bonobos, listen to me. Bonobos are female dominant. These lovely ladies run the show. In fact, they'll even form coalitions to take on unruly dudes. Think of them as the Golden Girls, but every last one is Blanche Devereaux. Thank you for being a friend. With benefits, these intense female bonds are very important to understand. Oftentimes, scientists will use primates as models for human behavior. So if these amorous apes can live a fairly peaceful existence with the ladies in charge, our ancestors might have been quite similar. I mean, what's stopping us now? Aside from chlamydia and herpes, gonorrhea too. Oh, and, and a global pandemic. But seriously, if you want to be more like bonobos, perhaps you should forget her emails, quit the mansplaining, and let ladies run the show. On God. <laughs>